it's nice to be able to spend a little bit more time on this Stuart engine. In the last video I had the drill on the end of the crankshaft and everything was working and it was pumping oil everywhere. Once again I've removed the oil pump and the problem I've got was that little the stud here was stripped and I put a helicoil insert in and I made a new stud. The 6mm die I've got is not very good, the studs come loose but the threads in the insert are very good. So I'm going to make a new stud this time and instead of using a die I'm going to screw cut the 1mm thread. Then once that's done, this end cover can go on for real and we can start putting con rods and cross heads and things together and actually get a little bit of build time on it. Right, this is quarter inch silver steel. So we need 0.35 I think it is to make it down to 6mm. Bring them out of here. I got put center of it. Well, it should. We'll put it further in the chuck. That's better. So that's down to six mil now. Zero the color bar because I set it at six. Six mil. Right, I've got the layer set up to cut the six mil thread. Right, then we're about ready to go, I think. Just about do I think one more pass. A little bit of cutting oil on there. Got to find the bastard oil can. There it is. I start using this oil purple as a cutting over again. A cutting oil, it's absolutely brilliant. These are the big end bolts that had clear nuts on and then castle nuts with split pins through. So I've got to get the bits of broken split pin out of here. Pop root nails make excellent little punches because they're really hard.
play that one. Bastard thing. There's a rushing crap coming out of there. Right. I'm going to clean those up on the wire wheel a little bit. You can see the, the pitting and corrosion on the end of that head. I was lucky with this engine. If it had been, if the crank had been on the bottom of the stroke in the water, it would have been a different kettle of fish. It's actually an oil feed up to that gudgeon pin. I'm just going to pump some oil up and make sure it is clear. Of course the oil can's leaking, the, sp the spout leaking on the oil can. I'll give it a squirt with the airline just to make sure it's clear. Right, it's blowing the oil up out of the size of the gudgeon pin so that's splendid. These are the bearings, or a split shell bearing. There's a little locator there. That doesn't stop the bearing turning. All that does is locate the bearing like that. You see the oil hole lines up with the, the hole for that tube. It went in that way, with that oil feed went to the flywheel there, and I remember that. And I've just been and checked the video. There's also a pop mark on that bearing cap there that I put on. And there'll be a one on here as well. There is indeed. Just helps the bearing cap to bear the slide into the cap easier. And he's always got together with the two locating things like that. Always. So that goes together like that. It's the clamping force of the cone rod on the bearing that stops it turning, not the little locating lug. Right, so we're going to drop this into the hole. I want some nice thick oil on the journal. Thick oil on there. And that goes in like that. This is where it's going to get interesting and messy. It's starting to get rather heavy this thing now, which um, in fact is very heavy. Right, you can see the, the con rod there. We'll drop it again, bolt through. You're going to see much for me. And actually. There's one bullet through. Once again, plenty of thick oil just to keep it alive as it's initially starting up. And there's a plain nut on there. Right, I'll turn it round, do the other side. There's actually a writing on that rod there, so somebody's marked it, probably as it was assembled from new. A little bit of oil on the, the threads of that just to help it snug down nicely. And the plain nut. I don't know what the torque will be on these FT I would imagine which is FT stands for no it doesn't stand for that it stands for fairly tight 
Right. So if we nip each one, we'll get the right size span. I will nip each one, turn it over, make sure it's nice and free. And then we'll. Uh, I don't think I'll lock them up solid until we get the cross head on, the trunk guide on, just in case I've got to take it back to bits. It's pointless putting it all together and putting split pins in. But we will nip them up and make sure it does turn over nice and freely. And we'll find the right size spanner. Right, so that one's tight ish. Right, that's them tight and still nice and free, no problem at all with that. Excellent. I should have put this bit in before I put the trunk gate in or the cross head in, but I didn't, so we'll see if we can manage to fiddle it in. It's just a bronze clevis with a pin through it and some nice little brass split pins. I'll turn the camera off because <laughs> I might start swearing here. There's quite a lot of rust up inside this trunk gate where the actual crosshead was seized. I think a wire brush should. <laughs> I'm going to try that diagram, that's a bit on the pathetic side. Sounds a bit better. <laughs> yeah, it's taken out quite nice. <laughs> I don't really want to put emery tape in there if I can help it. It's still that horn would be ideal, but unfortunately means it work. That's taken the rust out quite nicely. Happy with that. Yeah, that's good now. See up there, there's a little bit of pitting up the water top, but nothing's gonna, not gonna do any harm. These are the glands of the stuffing boxes that's packing the fuel goes down in between that follower. The pack material is graphite, impregnated yarn. These use asbestos, but it won't be asbestos anymore. That gets compressed and that seals up against the, the rods. In this case it's a valve rod, you see that one's sealing against steam pressure and that one's just keeping the water and stuff out the crankcase. Exactly the same with the this one here which is the piston rod gland. All oh, this is in good condition, it's nothing to matter with it. I took the packing out and put new packing in. Obviously you've got to put these on before you put the 
before you put it together, otherwise you're not get it, you're not really get them on. Oh, this part of the engine is in really, really good condition. This is all bronze, it's all quality gear. Right, so basically now it's ready to go on top of the engine. 